Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, this is part one of the new installment of Let's Make a Model series, and that is I'm going to be doing battle wagons, and uh, two battle wagons to be precise, not just one, because for the Legends of War, the next installment, which I have videos about, if, you, if you're wondering what that is, uh, for my orcs is to go to a certain point cost, I forget the exact point cost, and so I decided to add two battle wagons, so my Countess Gaskell and five Meganauts can ride in style, and my twin shooter boys can ride in style. So that's why I'm adding these two battle wagons. I ha it's out of three. I have three battle wagons in total in the army list, so I decided to go with two of them um, because that's would get me to the point cost. Um, so this is going to be a first, a couple of firsts for me. First time doing orc vehicles should be fun. First time. Uh, doing batch vehicles, or batch painting and making vehicles, since I'm making two. I normally do one vehicle at a time, even if it's a rhino, I'll do one rhino, finish it, and do a second rhino. Uh, with this battle wagon, I'm going to do them two simultaneously, so that should be interesting. It's also the first time I'm adding aftermarket upgrades, quote-unquote. And what I mean by that is, I have the Games Workshop battle wagon upgrade sprue, which includes the Death Roller, and some type of cannon. I don't know if it's the kill cannon or something like that, but uh, it includes a cannon. I'm going to be making the death roller because my battle wagons have death rolls on them. So that's pretty cool. I should that should go together pretty easily and, and get attached to the uh, battle wagon pretty easily. Um, also, I'll have to throw that over there. I um, got some bits that I ordered. I ordered two wrecking balls and two boarding planks because my battle wagons are going to have those on them as well. Now I should have bought three. I have two of the death roll upgrades and two of these bits each. I should have got three of each because I have three battle wagons all cooked the same way, but I didn't do that, so whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that's going to be fun. Also, I got from my friends, a group of my friends, they got for me for my birthday um, a couple weeks ago. Um, one of my battle wagons, so I bought one. They get they they also got me one, and they got it with the super cannon from Forge Rolls, so the super cannon battle wagon uh, thing, which is very cool because the super cannon can go on the battle wagon. Um, it's like a strength nine, AP three, thirty to one hundred sixty inch range, I think, uh, or. 5 inch blast, ordinance, um, pinning, or barrage, or I forget exactly, but it's on Forge World's website underneath that um, super truck or whatever, big truck or whatever it's called, uh, experimental rules. Now the battle wagon loses its entire transport capacity, but that's pretty cool. Um, it's a big gun, it looks, it's very nice, very cool, that's a nice barrel. Um, it also can be uh, by itself, like an artillery piece. Um, from what I've seen on the Forge Rule website. So what I'm going to try and do when I make this is um, have a pull double duty, see if I can get it to be both a standalone artillery piece and possibly fit into one of the battle wagons. Because that'll be pretty cool. So, um, But this isn't part of the Let's Make a Model Battle Wagon series. This is going to be a, a, a mini series, quote unquote, after I do both battle wagons. I just wanted to show you it now because it's really cool. So um, that's my plan. Uh, this installment of Let's Make a Model will have the Fortress Monastery blog supplements to it because as I do with all my stuff, I tell you what I'm going to do and then I show you that result. So pretty much I say, like with the Pathfinders, that I'm going to be painting it all gray and then I show you it painted all gray and then I tell you what I'm going to do next. And that's it's going to be the same thing with my battle wagons. But, um,. Because it's a bigger, more quote-unquote complex model, um, I'm going to supplement it on the blog, which lets me show you um, mid-progress, if you will. Actual work in progress. I can, I can, if I encounter a snag or something, instead of just talking about it here afterwards, I can take a picture of it, post it on the blog, and talk about it there so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So it'll be very, it'll be, I don't want to say very helpful, but more helpful than just me talking about it later, because then you can actually have a picture reference for what I'm talking about. And um, I'm going to do that for all Let's Make a Model series 
um, that are more than just infantry building. Like, if I'm building just a standard Terminator, no, I'm not, probably not going to show you. Unless people really want to see how to build a Terminator. If I'm doing standard power on Marines, probably not going to show you. Um, although I may, um, if I'm doing extensive conversions on anything, I'll, I'll of course do a supplemental post on the Fortress Monastery during the Let's Make a Model thing. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty much for vehicles, walkers, um, battle suits even. They're not vehicles or walkers. Um, even though walkers have a vehicle. Anyway, you get the idea. Stuff like that. Pretty much anything for forge roll that requires assembly I'll do because it's resin. And um, so the super cannon will be a nice introduction to working with resin. It'll be because it's a fairly simplistic model, even though it looks complex with all the pieces. But uh, it's pretty much just a big big old cannon. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, hopefully we'll see. But uh, so yeah, that's that's the plan for this series and also what I plan to do with the series. So this would be like a kind of a a true introduction to the entire series, you know, with the videos and the supplemental blog posts. So we'll see how well that goes. Um, this was a generic intro to a Let's Make a Model Battle Wagons. Remember, two Battle Wagons, not just one. And um, what I'm going to be doing for the first part is just assembling the wheels. Just, we're going to uh, roll into it, no pun intended, slowly. So it's just going to be assembling the wheels, talk about that. No painting yet, and then from there, we'll see how it goes and what I'm going to do next. So, um, hope you guys are going to enjoy. Feel free to leave questions or comments, and until next time, take it easy.